All right, let's get this trial started. All rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And Did the you repeat this quote already? Can't tell. Graduate. Okay then. So, first off, let's talk about the murder weapon. All right. First, we had to make clear what was used to deliver the final blow. All right. I need to shoot to see if there's any contradiction. Locker room dumbbells. Okay. Chihiro's fatal injury. It appears it was a head wound. It is a head wound. The killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? All right, that's easy. How do I shoot again? Pipe. Hold on. Uh, controls. There we go. So, fast forward circle, silence is X, aim is that, square is to, oh, okay. So X is to shoot, got it. Interesting. Definitely not an iron pipe. Would make for a powerful weapon. It's not an... No. God, I feel like these guys are just dumb. <laughs> Clear, all right, whatever, um... What kind of blunt instrument could it have been? Uh, how do I shoot? X? Um, Interesting. I guess not. It certainly would make triangle. Okay. So wait, hold on. What was? <laughs> hold on a minute. Sorry, I was just reviewing the, con the controls here. Try. Oh, access silencer. Not why. Well, when I think of silencer, I think it's just a shoe something. Okay, apparently it's triangle. Fire bullets. Okay, got it. it, was, it was, to the what, kind of instrument? what is? What exactly is silencer, anyways? You think you have some proof that contradicts what I? S um, I well, it's not really a contradiction. I'm just trying to explain what it was. But okay, fine, whatever. What kind of blunt instrument? Could I bet it was an iron pipe. There we go. No, it's wrong. So I had to specifically. I I felt like those two could have easily worked to tell you. Oh, this is what the thing is. Can we but whatever. Agree that the object that dealt the fatal blow was the dumbbell? Found at the scene of the crime? God, even your voice sounds loserish. <laughs> it was covered in blood. And there was nothing else at the scene that could have caused that kind of injury. And the wound on the victim's head is consistent with the shape of the dumbbell. As far as I'm concerned, there's no mistake and no room for doubt on this one. You looked at her head wound? It's Ki Kyoko, just throw with it. <laughs> That's so creepy! If you don't mind, I will proceed from here. Let's move on to discussion of the culprit. Although, I believe the criminal behind this heinous act is already quite clear. What? For real? Chihiro's killer is the fiendish serial killer, <laughs> Genocide Jack. Viakia, shut the fuck up. I mean, okay, even if it is Genocide Jack, who the fuck is one among one of us is Genocide Jack? A new element has been uh, uh, a new element has been added to the non-stop debates. Holy shit! Really? We're not okay. Tell me. For this debate, lines of white noises will appear to disrupt your reactions. Your truth bullets will disappear if they hit these lines. So think of them as obstacles in your debates. But there is a way to keep the, this white noise from getting into your way. Press the X button to attach a silencer. Which you can use to shoot down the white noise, okay. However, if you shoot the actual remark with your silencer instead of the white noise, the time limit will de- okay. You also shoot down- okay, fuck off, there's no touchpad- well, well, there is a touchpad on the PS4 controller, but I'll, I doubt that works. Anyways, in which case, don't forget that the silencer is just focused on the situation, okay. So, exit silencer, triangle to shoot. Alright, so there's gonna be white noise, got it, got it. <clears throat> Make your argument. Genocide Jack. Case file. Let's do this. The culprit is Genocide Jack. I'm sure. Case oh, give me more seconds too. As far as I'm concerned. But that's impossible. Why? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean, come on. 
There's just no proof for it. Okay. So, speaking of genocide, yeah. I don't know who that is. <laughs> so you're completely useless in this this uh, debate. The thing Byakuya show, showed me in the archive, one look at that and anyone could be convinced. It shows that there... It shows that this was the work of Genocide Jack. Okay. The culprit is Genocide Jack. I'm sure. Case closed. As far Shit. As I'm concerned. But that's impossible. Why? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean... I hate how the cursor is like... There's just no proof for it. Fuck. Hey, so... Hold on a minute. Genocide Jack. Case closed. But that's it, hot life. What make it? I mean, there's just no proof for it. Hey, so Shit, come on, really? There's even a time limit on this? Alright, this is gonna take some aiming. Oh, oops. Genocide. Case closed. But that's it. Why? What makes it important? Well, I mean, come on. There's just no proof for it. Bam! There we go. No, that's wrong. Holy crap. That was tense. Alright. So white noise is gone, hopefully. I might know one reason he could be involved. What? I found this file while I was looking around the archive in the library. I guess it's some kind of confidential file the police put together about the Genocide Jack case. What? That's kind of weird as shit, isn't it? What was something like that doing in the library? The why of it is probably more trouble than it's worth. So let's forget about that for now. More importantly, it outlines all the specifics of every Genocide Jack case in exceeding detail. According to the file, there appear to be two defining characteristics in every Genocide Jack case. The first is that a bloody message is found written at the scene of every murder. Oh, that's right. Oog lust. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, no, it's actually blood lust. But more important is the other characteristic. And it's something that has never been made public. Never made public? What the hell is it? Why don't you tell them, Makoto? The other characteristic of every Genocide Jack case, which is which the world is at large doesn't know. If I'm not mistaken, it has to do with the position of the body. Um, bloody message like behind we already know that. Where the murder took place, how the victim is positioned. We already know that as well. Where the wait no no, not the where. It's how the I got it. It's when the murder took place I was thinking of, but in every hmm. genocide jack case, the killer suspends the body in a certain way. Other than the killer, the only people who know about this are the higher ups in the police department. However, Chihiro was most definitely suspended in the same way. So, how did the culprit know about this when only high level police officials were aware of it? There's only one logical answer I can think of. It's because magic the no. in this case is the real genocide Jack. No fucking way! You're saying genocide Jack is one of us? Yes. In fact, it's Toko. <laughs> Just straight to the point. All right, let's go. What? Genocide Jack's true identity is Toko Fukawa. You lie! What? Hey, okay, wait, hold on a sec. Toko has, like, bloodophobia or whatever, remember? What kind of serial killer is afraid of blood? She has two different personalities, so... Is Toko Genocide Jack? The answer is yes and no. Another riddle. Man, why does this gotta be so complicated? I know, right, dude? I mean, come on. Alright, it's a riddle for sure, but I feel like I understand it. What it means to be Genocide Jack, to be Toko, but also to not be Toko. The answer is that she's not just one person, but multiple people, right? Alright, continue on for it. Hangman's Gam- oh, what? Oh, is this thing again? Oh shit, okay. Uh... Oh, fuck me, okay, um... I'm seeing a lot of I's, and H, uh, not H, I, S, N... Ah oh, shit, shining. This is but but but. My time does not decrease, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. But wait, hold on. Oh shit, I could just pause the time like there, and okay, I could technically cheat, basically. Okay, so um, hold on. How do I? 
Square does nothing, so I can't even see. Okay, so I know it has something to do with a multiple personality disorder, but what word would line up to that? Also, I keep forgetting. Like, do I shoot the yellow ones or the red ones? Like, Asahina? What the fuck? It's kid. I'm curious though, but that's the only one I could think of. I saw the N and the A, but then again, I don't see why the B is there. Although I don't see the A so far. Maybe it's not Asahina, never mind. Uh never mind. There it is. Miss, okay. My life does decrease, you guys, so I have to be careful. Um Disorder? No, that's not disorder. The H and the I are in different positions. No, I don't think there's an H on disorder, actually. Never mind. S? It's an S. Okay, so... 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 C... He... Sa... Sa... Sa? Not Sa. Okay. School... School? It's not school because the I is there. Stick. <laughs> uh, st, st, uh, mm. Oh fuck! What was the letter I put? Sa. Okay, so it's not. It has to be a vowel or maybe an H. Oh wait, no, not an H. Sorry, no, I was thinking of school for some reason. Never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. That's okay. I got infinite l l one ups, right? Although I do have a time limit. Is there are no vowels here. What the fuck is this word? There's a lot of popping disease here. B. Stib. 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 Stit. Stitch? Oh, uh, uh, fuck. Still? What the fuck is this? I um, st st Steel? Still, uh, fuck it, I'm gonna get this wrong. Okay, I got half. Okay. Ah, oh, shit me. Is these awfully popping up a lot? Whoops. So what? Do I get failed because of that? No, it believes me. No, it wasn't. Dude, wait a minute. What the fuck are you talking about? It was. What are you talking about, Makoto? It was... What's his face again? Goddamn Byakuya who submitted that... Oh! Toko's the murderer! Why am I getting the blame here? Uh... Wait, what? <laughs> this makes no fucking sense! Why am I... Why are people voting for me? You guys, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? They really should- Oh shit, there's a time limit on this thing too. Okay, yeah, yeah, give it another shot. This makes no sense. <laughs> Why the fuck would people vote for me? I mean... Oh, whatever, okay. Blah, 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 multiple personality. Oh shit, I could've pressed square, god damn it. Maybe I could've se seen what the word is. Oh, whatever. We know. We now know the S... C... something. There's S. Now we just have to figure out what the fuck everything else is. Shte. Shte. Shtib? Not shtib. Shte. Shtiz. What the hell is this word? Shtizo? What the fuck is a shtizo? Now I understand. Fucking internet, tell me, what the fuck is a shtizo? Because I am so confused. Why do you always have to go to fucking. <laughs> Okay, where are you? God damn it. How the fuck am I supposed to remember that word? Shtizo. Okay. That's apparently a word that I'm... Okay, whatever. So it makes sense, at least. It's just that I don't know what the fuck that word is. Is all. Alright, whatever. Shtizo. I guess I wasn't paying attention at all. Oh well, whatever. Is it because Genocide Jack has a split personality? Couldn't I just present the fucking evidence instead of using a crossword puzzle? God damn it. I think I read that somewhere in the file too. Yeah, I could just eat, fucking present the file yourselves. Itself. God damn it. The suspect might have 
What did they call it? Dissociative identity disorder. Oh, okay. But still, to go and say that about Miss Fukawa is... Perfectly acceptable. Toko's strange behavior after seeing the body is proof enough that she has a split personality. The one thing that shows Toko could have had a split personality, it has to do with her behavior. She arrives late, she fainted, and yeah, her behavior changed. That was obvious. You're talking about how she started acting totally different than usual, right? That's right. Think back. She fainted when she saw Chihiro's corpse, and then, when she woke up... <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, yeah. God, okay, I like this. Whoa, is that dead body? Hey, are you dead? Yeah. Alright, so yeah. Basically, Toko done it. <laughs> she was acting funny, that's for sure. That melancholy tone of hers completely disappeared. Nico assigning adjectives to my tone without permission. Not to mention, once she regained consciousness and saw Chihiro's body again, she was utterly calm. In other words, within her is one personality that can't handle blood, and one that obviously can. <laughs> so when Toko trapped herself in her room, it's because she was scared of Genocide Jack? The reason she locked herself in her room wasn't to keep other people from getting in. It was to keep her other personality from getting out. What? Toko was afraid. Afraid of the murderous fiend inside of her. Of killing even more people. Uh, how? Yeah. How can you know all this? I do believe you misunderstood her. What she's trying to say isn't, how can you know all this? No. What she wants to know is, how could you tell them? Huh? Last night, just before Monokuma gave his motive speech, Toko and I had a strange conversation. She told me a most interesting story. She said a murderous fiend lived within her, and she was afraid it could appear and attack at any time. And that trepidation is what's caused her to have such a bleak attitude. Isn't that right, Toko? <laughs> this is all a lie. Right, Toko? You said you wouldn't tell anyone. So you do admit it! What? You promised? I can't believe you lied! You have only yourself to blame. You came to me with your tragic little story. I didn't ask you to. This is the real world, not some romantic fantasy fairy tale. <laughs> Besides, you broke your promise first. You said that as long as you were here, no matter what, you wouldn't let Genocide Jack kill anyone. But in spite of that promise... You said if I kept my promise, you would go out with me. <laughs> Toko, you... <sighs> That's the only reason I promised! How many times do I have to tell you? I never said that, but you weren't able to do it. You just couldn't resist that rush you got from killing, could you? I, I tried. I swear I tried to control it. <laughs> but your efforts were useless. What a disappointment. I hate you. Well, the opening act is nearly finished. All that's left is to hear from the person in question directly. Uh Person, you don't mean. Yep, I could think we got our guilty verdict here. Toko's body suddenly lunged backwards. A huge thud echoed across the classroom, but in the next second. Oh shit! Hello there. Is it me? Genocide Jill. Yes. Genocide Jill. What? Or better yet, let's go with Genocide Jill! Eh, I don't like her voice. My voice is a lot better. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Toko! What happened to you? Not Toko! That's a loser name! And what happened is a textbook split personality! So what if one of them happens to be a serial killer? You should turn a blind eye to one's fault! <laughs> yeah, so, um... 
yeah, I hate her. <laughs> Enough said. And I think my hate for her is very, very well justified. I mean, Byakuya may be a dick, but at least he doesn't... Well, not at least not yet, murder someone. Or murders multiple people. This one is so different from the one we've come to know. Yes, well, the world is composed of a front and a back, you know. Just like how every inning has a top and a bottom, or how in the depths of every truth lives a little lie. I'm... I very much miss her lisp. Behind every dark and gloomy soul lives another that shines as bright as the sun! <laughs> <laughs> this is the murder fiend genocide, Jack. This is beyond insane. Miss Jack, uh, Jill, can I ask you a question? What's up? Some of us think you might be the mastermind behind our entire situation. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'll tell you. I am the mastermind of all masterminds. Just kidding. Then it's not true. Of course it's not true. How dare you try to link me to that? And another thing, the police and government and society in the outside world are totally powerless! I mean, they just let this idiotic bloodthirsty maniac go buck wild all over town! Sure, I'm a bloodthirsty maniac, but life is pain, right? To live is to hurt other people. It's a necessary evil if you want to survive. The act of living itself causes pain for everyone. Just kidding again! God, she's fucking annoying, really. This what the fuck? Enough to convince you. This murderous fiend is responsible for Chihiro's death. There's clearly a motive, so there should be no doubt. A motive? Remember what Monokuma told us? If someone didn't murder and graduate within 24 hours, an embarrassing memory or secret would be revealed. Well, let's assume that Toko's secret was about Genocide Jack. If a secret like that came to light, Toko's life would have undoubtedly been forever ruined. So she had a very clear motive to never have that side of herself exposed. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. But sorry, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm not the culprit. Huh? What? <laughs> but I cannot imagine anyone other than you could murder someone in such a bizarre fashion. Maybe so, maybe so, but nevertheless, it's the truth! Do you really expect any of us to believe you? That is true, I mean, what's your... Tell me your side of the story. Yeah. I could never believe a word you say, you monster! Maybe. <laughs> Makoto, you're not actually... We'll be right back and see whatever the fuck Makoto is, has his plan. Stay tuned for this. God damn it, Makoto, let's just- well, then again, if she really isn't the murderer, then we're fucked, but... It's getting very obvious that she's a murderer, I mean... Unless this is all in some sort of ploy for someone, maybe she's in cahoots with someone, but then again, why would she be in cahoots with someone? I don't fucking know. Whatever, okay. Uh, see you guys in a bit.